Greetings. Hello and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. How are you? Today is October 24th and uh, what a gorgeous day it is right here in Southern California. It is warm. Actually, it is hot, but there is a beautiful breeze. Uh, hello, Sylvia. How are you? How are you feeling? And uh, my heart is with you. So welcome to all of you who are coming on at this very moment. And um, well, let's sit back. Let's sit back and take a moment. Take a moment to ground ourselves. And uh, breathe. And while you're here with me, how about we just let go of everything and quiet our mind for a moment. Ground ourselves, our feet grounded. And connect with each and every breath. And as we become more centered, we become one with ourselves. And realize at this very moment, nothing matters. Nothing outside of this very moment. Nothing outside of our body. Nothing outside of wherever you are. Either you're watching on your laptop or over your phone. And if we can just become one with our own breath and present right here, right now. And no matter what has happened until this very moment, just blow it away. That's it. Just breathe in oxygen and vitality. Exhaling all the stressors, all the tension, all the worry. And just imagine as you are exhaling that you exhale into this beautiful bubble, literally a bubble. And as we know in our own mind what a bubble looks like, a bubble is clear. When we look at bubbles, we see this magical, clear bubble. And yet we see the bubbles. So go ahead and put all the trauma, all the pain, all the stressors, all the worry, all the anxiety, all the tension, whatever happened until two minutes ago, inside each and every one of those bubbles. And let's, even clusters of bubbles, let's release them. I know it's hard. <sighs> if we can just release bubbles at this very moment and becoming present, become present, and see the magical beauty of the God-given colors of rainbow inside each bubble that holds all that hurt, Emotional pain, physical pain, just send it into a bubble and let it burst outside of you today. I was going to talk about what we hold on, what we hold on inside our body, what we hold on inside our heart, what we hold on in here, and Sometimes it becomes mind-boggling how much overload and overwhelmed we become because of minutia, because of all the negative little back talks that either people say, what we read, what we see on TV, or even the, the voice that little voice, the negative voice within us, 
that is constantly, you know, that the negative, it's not going to happen, it's not going to work, it, why did this happen, it's your fault, there is the blame, there is the guilt, there is the shame, there is the hurt, I didn't do enough, I didn't see it, I was not prepared enough. So that self blame. So let's sit back just for this very moment. And if we could be entirely present without all that extra stuff the weight, the hurt, the expectations, and just be present with the person inside your heart. Just for a moment, become more loving. Loving to your body loving to your heart, loving to this beautiful life that you are right here, right now. You know, two days ago, I took my mom to the doctors, and as we're walking there, she's got tears in her eyes because we're passing by the hospital that my dad passed by. And as she's crying, she says, well, you know, if, and I'm going, Mom, stop with the ifs. There is no more if. There are no ifs. And if we can become more present with the here and now, and we let go of the bygones, and what I call it, we have a history. Truly, every single one of us either a history of our family, a history of abuse, a history of success, a history of, uh, I don't know, our ancestries, a history of failures. It's all history up to this very moment. But what can we turn all that and put it into a bubble sent it away, we're not dismissing, but releasing, so that we can create a new story right here, right now. What is the story that you are willing to create right here, right now? A loving story. And what I said to my client just last night is, yes, I understand that there is a whole book about your life and all the rights and the wrongs, all the good and all the bad, every mistake that you have made, everything that you have placed inside you that has brought you to this level, to this office. But starting today, we're going to start with a new plain sheet of paper so that we can create a new chapter. I mean, we don't read the history of this country, the history of the past countries, or even the Bible uh, and say that was it. No. Today is a new day. Today you woke up. And it's a whole new day. This is not the Groundhog's Day for you to repeat everything from the past and say, I'm stuck there. No, you are present right here, right now. So what is one thing that you can truly say, okay, I'm ready? What happened if it was under your control? You've done it. But what can you take over and take charge, take responsibility today? 
I got an email just two days ago saying, I did not see a Me Too on your page. You know, this morning I posted something about all the judgings that we do sometimes if we misjudge what we see. So just because I did not put a post of Me Too is because in my mind, who hasn't? But from today, if we take responsibility because, you know, all these things are coming out like a volcano. It's everything is erupting, which is so beautiful to see because it's very much my 3E. It's evoking. Everything is evoking, coming to surface. And that's what we do with my clients. The tools that I use through hypnotherapy or stress management or the hypnosis or mindfulness, NLP, those are all tools. But what I help my clients and you is to understand it's time to evoke, which is happening all around us. Look at the media. Everything is coming from the past because now they are finding that they can embrace this very moment, embrace their stance, embrace their voice and speak up. And now they have a tribe, they have support, whereas before they didn't feel there must be a support. And this is not about everything that out there, but here. Here at this very moment, even on Facebook, so many are expressing their thoughts, feelings. Because we all have the right to say so. But we must also be mindful of what we say. This platform is not for us to backlash or hurt one another. Just express what you want and move on. So when we come to express our hurt, express your hurt in the same way as when we express love, it's to say, I feel loved when I see this, I feel this, when you say this, when you do this, or I feel attacked. I feel, not you did this. So today, I want to talk about this, how we use um, instruments, words, gestures that become triggers or reminders. The same way as the bubble is now a reminder of this beautiful, magical, magical, because kids, we all love bubbles. Even as children, we always blew bubbles with our gum because it's not so much the experience of, well, it is an experience. It's not so much of who can have the biggest bubble, but it's who can make the biggest bubble and because we look at the bubble and we are creating that bubble just with our own breath as we blow into this. You see, that's the magic. And when we challenge each other is to see how we create this. It's the creation of that bubble. It's how much breath we have and that's what we are comparing either as children or as adults. So remember I shared a few weeks ago, I was um, at a retreat in Mexico City. Leaving on that last day, the owner of that retreat, Alberto, gift, gifted every single person with something. And it was this. It's a beautiful stone. Um, it's a black stone that holds energy and repels negative energy when you hold it or have it around you. Not realizing that for 
years, I've had this incredible necklace with my Maya and my angels and the mala and the mandala around me. It's my favorite necklace. The reason I'm talking about this, you see this triangle? I love it because what does it remind me of? It's the three, right? Everything about me. But how sharp at the edge, the edges of each one is. Coming through customs, I was going to take my small little luggage with me, but then when they saw this through the x-ray, they had me check in my small little luggage because of this. Because this can be used as a tool to hurt, even though it's one of the stones that is from their country, Mexico City. Beautiful energy. Now, why am I talking about this? Because although this is to repel negative energy and the triangle represents mind, body, emotions, me, myself, and I, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, it's like the tongue. If you go to my website, you will see a beautiful video thanks to Mary Lou Sandler I talk about my grandmother and what she said and the power and the strength of the tongue well this is to remind us that even something that is as beautiful as energetic can become a tool to hurt I can poke, I can hurt someone with this. It's very powerful. And so is the tongue. The tongue, as adults, you are here, I'm going to share this, can give pleasure. The tongue is also used to help us swallow saliva. The top of the tongue, when acupuncturists look, it shows our health. The same way as the palm of our hand, the bottom of our feet, the eyes, the retina. The tongue is also a health indicator when we look at it. We can tell how healthy we are inside our body. But also the tongue can be used as a tool to hurt. And that is what I want you to be mindful of. How loving are you? First and foremost, towards the little girl and the little boy inside, how much do you say loving things Appreciate yourself. Appreciate the one inside that is looking up to you to be a mentor, to be a guide, to show the path. Every morning I wake up, I pray. Some call it meditation, some call it yoga, um, some call it uh, mindfulness, I call it prayfulness. I say, God, put me on this path that I can in turn help others. You show me, you place me on that path so that I can help the ones you place on my path. But we must also be mindful to help the one inside, that it's inside this path, inside this body lovingly instead of hurtfully but to always keep a tool such as this in the palm of our hand that when someone is attacking us either a disease 
or a person. We have the strength and the tools within us to safeguard us and protect ourselves. So, as we feel more grounded, centered, if you can just for a moment think of all the negative worries, anxieties, hurtful things you have seen, heard, or even said to yourself, self-sabotaging. Words that have not uplifted you, but held you back, and you feel this block, or you feel this weight. Realize that every single gesture, every single word, everything we see, we do, we hear, we feel, we store it into our subconscious mind. And when we go back and review, wouldn't it be nicer that we can just literally peel away all the chapters, all the things we wrote that are no longer necessary nor helping us move forward in life? And we start a new page, a new chapter. You know, it's like saying, well, I wrote that. Oh, that's a mistake. Next, literally just smash it and put it aside. Take a sheet of paper and just write everything that you are ready. If you can't blow it into the bubble, write it and sit with it. If you have to cry, if you have to look at it, 10 times read it and say, okay, I'm done. I am truly done because that all this no longer serves me. and just go like that everything or better yet go to somewhere safe put it on fire and watch it burn in a place that it's safe not in a place that it's windy or flush it down the toilet you know, I had someone said, I wrote everything on toilet tissue paper and I flushed it down. By all means, any which way, any modality that is a way of releasing and letting go. Only you know what works for you. So, me too. Yes, the past. It may happen again, but I take responsibility for myself to stand up for me, to protect me, and realize that I have a choice in the decisions that I make from this day forward, and so do you. And instead of pointing fingers from this day forward, I say, I release. I release it because I'm releasing it from me. I'm releasing it from my body. And the disease that I held on to, I wash it away, blow it away, put it on fire, whatever it is that works best for you. I did mine when I was up on the balloon, on that beautiful air balloon. As I was standing there, in my mind, I was dropping it. And letting it go and that's what I did and you know what I used that it was so much more significant because I am auditory every time that hot air balloon the guy was going I was like flush it drop it down flushed it drop it down yes it goes so can you and if I can be an instrument, a guide and mentor to help you through it and help you delve deeper within yourself and release the things you cannot tap into, by all means, 
either habits, behaviors, attitude, it doesn't matter. Sometimes we don't even know what we are holding on to. And that is where I come in. We all have a choice. How about we become victors? To live life more victoriously. And that subconscious mind that stores all that information. And if we rewind, we realize, you know, there's only so many times we can go back. And we take that as an information, not as how I live my life. And we live life from today on. One day at a time. One hour at a time. Maybe one minute at a time. And I will stand by you. I will stand beside you. Hold your hand. That as we evoke what was, embrace what is today, and we become to evolve to what it is that we truly desire, a heart's desire, we become the entirely this person. So I help you. I guide you for you to find your the who you are, not what you are, so you can entirely embrace all of you. There is nothing more beautiful in life than self-pride, self-esteem, self-acceptance, self-appreciation. Because that cup has to be full so that we can say, I am ready to hold space for you. Every day, I let go so that I can become stronger to hold space for my clients, for you. I'm going to take this moment and check and see how I may respond to some of the questions right here. Because I want to acknowledge you and thank you for being present. Silva John, it's really hard. It's thinking that he is gone. It's hard to face reality. You are facing reality every single day. And I am positive the person who hid him is suffering and hurting as much as you are in their own way. And this is not as a consolation because, you know, Mexico City was getting ready to celebrate the Day of the Dead. And being an Armenian, I always say to my mom or I used to say to my grandma, why is it that after every single day that we celebrate, like Easter, Christmas, um, Maria Maswatzatzin, or any day that it's a celebration, the next day is Merelon, Merelots, which is the Day of the Dead. And they would say, it's because we remember the dead and we go to remember them at the cemetery. <sighs> we remember them right here. But it's like, I used to say, it's like, Okay, you celebrate it now. Remember the the other part. But in Mexico City, and the, it's a celebration of their life. It is saying, "I remember you in light. I celebrate the times that you were with me. I celebrate the time that I had with you." I celebrate instead of I cry because I miss you. 
we always miss the ones who are not with us. Thus, the foundation, the, the nonprofit that I am this close to starting and it's happening. So let us celebrate the years, the days, the months, the minutes from the moment that he was in your arms to even this very moment he is still with you. Because the more we make it hard, it's negative energy. And we want to make this light. Because above angels, God, universe, everything is about lightness. We are surrounded with light. Remember the magic bubble? Look within the bubble and see the rainbow. Hi, Don. Love you, girl. I read somewhere that this phrase, anyone can find dirt in someone, try to find gold in them. Exactly. Because I want to also reiterate this, that no matter what is happening in social media, uh, no matter what stories are coming out, no matter how many car chases we see, no matter how many people cut in front of us, there is 10 goods and one bad. Except it's always the bad that gets the media and the notoriety or all this uh, attention. How about we also give more attention with all the beautiful births, with all the beautiful things, all the kids that go to school become scholars, all the prom queens, all the ones who excel and create, create. Oh my God, years ago, everybody thought, you know, we can't create one more thing because everything has already been invented and every single day there is a new invention. And those are the masterminds working at it. So there is more good. There is more flowers blossoming than the ones that are dying. So I thank you for being here, being present, and let us close this session with being mindful, loving, and remembering In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Me, myself, and I stand together in harmony, in balance, as one. You are love. You are light. Be loving. Speak lovingly. Thank you. To be entirely you, let us evoke, embrace, evolve, because you matter. I'll see you next week.